Hello, Ash here. I'm in the middle of finishing my We Happy Few review, coming soon. But since the game was coming out today, I thought I'd start off and share some of my own tips on how to make We Happy Few happy for you. If you don't care for survival mechanics, play on easy or custom. Easy is for those who want to casually experience a story and specifically allows you to play without worrying about making your character eat, drink, or sleep. You can also make your own custom difficulty if you like, where you can disable eating and drinking, but say, keep combat very hard, or whatever combination you like. And as someone who's disabled food and drink and only got through Act 1 after 23 hours, I assure you there's enough content to get by. Use your storage. One problem you may experience in this game is hoarding. Even if you're not stocking up on food, there are so many weapons and gadgets to carry around, and so little inventory space. That's where storage comes in. Throughout the game, you'll discover livable hatches that let you eat, drink, and sleep in peace. Each hatch has a storage device. You can store whatever you like, and the contents are shared between each hatch in the entire city. Here's the trick. If you keep your crafting materials in there, when you make something at the workbench or chemistry station, it automatically pulls resources from your storage. You don't need to carry it yourself. Look at your map. As you're running around in the city, you'll notice that not all quests pick up automatically, but they're still marked on your map. Be sure to keep a lookout for them. Some of them are simple fetch quests, while others are fantastic side plots that have great rewards, are hilarious to play, or both. The game's strong point is its dark humor, so expect things to get a little more uncomfortable. Live my love, babies! Are you ready to follow instructions? Okay. Keep a gas mask. This is one of the few things in the game that you'll need a lot. No story spoilers, but it'll be one of the key things you need in Arthur's story, the first protagonist. It's essential since toxic fumes are everywhere, and sometimes you need it when you're on the run, or you're in an area you technically shouldn't be in, or you're stuck in a room that is deliberately gassing you with psychedelic drugs. Sunshine, not joy. Joy is the drug that pairs psychedelic highs with confusion, catatonia, yellowed fingernails, homicidal urges, sudden death, cessation of bowel movements, insanity, and major memory loss. Sunshine has none of that, but still get you high. The effect doesn't last long, but long enough to pass you through security checkpoints, make NPCs less suspicious, and hide you from creepy daughters who will quite literally stab you with joy. Down up! And that's long and short of it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be back soon with my review, but in the meantime, take care and I'll see you soon.